friends the topic is inverse function let us consider a 1 1 function with domain a and range b with respect to the function f that is this correspondence from a to b let y be an element of b so this member y belongs to b arises from one and only one member x belongs to a such that fx is equal to y as the function is 1 1 this is domain and this one is range or the codomain if the range and codomain are same then you can say that the function is 1 1 and on 2 friends if we consider a function from b to a such that this is g so that g of y is equal to x now g of y is equal to x implied fx is equal to y we can also note it g by f inverse okay g by f inverse and uh, that is we can write x is equal to f inverse of y this implied y is equal to f of x in the form of usual notation that is y as a function of x we sometimes represent inverse of y is equal to fx as inverse of y is equal to fx as y is equal to f inverse of x okay in this case uh, domain of f, f inverse domain of f inverse is equal to a range of f and the range of f inverse range of f inverse is equal to domain of f how we shall give some examples let us consider two non-empty sets respectively a and b there is a function from a to b say in this domain there are three points one three zero and there are three points say two four and one the domain of f is equal to one three zero okay and the range of f is equal to two four one isn't it the range of f is two four one set two four one and the domain of f is a set which contains one three and zero if there is a inverse function from b to a if it exists then the domain of f inverse is 2 4 1 2 4 1 now 2 4 1 is the range of f so this is actually the domain of f inverse and 1 3 0 is the domain of f 1 3 0 is the domain of f on the other hand 1 3 0 that is the this set a is the range of f inverse so we can write this as a range of f inverse range of f inverse okay now friends this is very important topic i want to share with you this is only one one and on two functions are invertible only one one and on two functions are invertible for proof let us consider two functions namely one one into and many one on two so first one is one one into say this set is a contains some elements say p q and r and uh, this one is b containing some elements say one two three four there is a function from a to b f p has the image inside b one 
q has the images inside b 2 and r has the image inside b 3 so the range set is 1 2 and 3 on the other hand we take another example many 1 on 2 say this is set a and this one is set b that is a correspondence from a to b say f a contains some elements say p q r s and b contains 2 3 4 okay if we find that p has the image 2 q has the image 3 r has the image 3 and s has the image 4 in the set b okay so this is very clear from the first picture that this is 1 1 and into because the range is not is equal to codomain and in the second picture you see that p and r has a unique image in set b3 so this is many one this is 1 1 into and this one is many one function okay now friends from the first one from this one you see that f of p f of p is equal to 1 f of q is equal to 2 f of r is equal to 3 okay if the inverse exists suppose inverse exists then you can write f inverse of 1 is equal to p from this one f inverse of 2 is equal to q from this one f inverse of 3 is equal to r okay from this figure see that if this is f inverse okay if this is f inverse then f inverse of 1 is equal to p f inverse of 2 is equal to q f inverse of 3 is equal to r but what is f inverse of 4 what is f inverse of 4 you can't get any value in the range of f inverse so this violates the de definition of definition of a function so this is not invertible not invertible this is not invertible okay on the other hand if we take this example this is for many one function here also you see that f of p is equal to 2 f of q is equal to 3 f of r is equal to 3 f of s is equal to 4 so if you find there is an inverse function if it happens f inverse is there from b to a then you can write f inverse of 2 is equal to p f inverse of 3 is equal to q f inverse of 3 is equal to r and from this one f inverse of 4 is equal to s now from this one i mark this you see that here f inverse 3 because with respect to f inverse b is the domain and a is the set a is the range now you see that f inverse 3 is equal to q so and f inverse 3 is equal to r f inverse 3 is equal to r so 3 has two distinct images in set a so f inverse this violates the definition of function so this example that means many one function is not invertible this is not invertible okay so what to do now here friends it is clear that only those functions are invertible 
which are neither into nor many one that is which are one one and on two which are one one and on two that means this function may be one one on two if you omit these value from the set b that means that means if the range and codomain are equal then you can say the function is one one and on two in this case only the function will be invertible is it clear friend please see the video again and again rewind this video and this will be clear in one lecture it cannot be cleared but in few days you may be uh, helpful in this from this video thank you have a nice day